Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim episode. Today we're going to be learning about taming boar. There's some mechanics that you need to be aware of, otherwise you're going to get really frustrated. Boar really are the bosses of the meadows. Jeez, those guys are tough. It's really important, for your own sake, that you build a pen for the boar, and it needs to be kind of close to your base. And if you look at the workbench, and you see how there's that circle around it, a good place for your boar pit is basically like, you see how the circle goes to my base, to the edge of it? That's a good place. And then the boar pit can just go right here. All you need to make it is a bunch of wood. And I recommend that you use these really tall walls to protect your boar. So all you have to do is place some walls. And once you have all of your walls, you leave a door, okay? But you see, if we just do it this way, then the boar are gonna be able to uh, escape, right? When we open the door, and we don't want that. So, using the really cheap round pole fence, just like this, okay? And then, we're gonna add one more part. Maybe like right there, see? And then I can jump up here, and the reason we wanna do this is so that we can just toss the food into the pen. How are we gonna get the boar in once we find them? Well. We should leave a gap like this. It's time to go find some boar. I would just focus on getting two boar to start off with. Don't even worry about them being starred. And all you have to do is sort of get near them and then they're gonna start trying to kill you, you know? However, we've only found one boar and you actually need to find two. I've been having trouble finding the second boar. So let's look at some of the areas that the boars are typically attracted to. Normally the boar can be found in the meadows near water and they're easier to find them in these open meadows where there's no trees. But they do spawn in the trees, it's just kind of hard to see them. <laughs> Sometimes you can get lucky and find these rune stones. These are boar stones. The first time you come, you can get a whole bunch of them. I mean, look. Personally, I find that it's good to aggro about double as many boar as you're trying to get back. So try and find three or four. We have our two friends right here trying to gore me. And then once the second one's in, now I can just shut it just like that. And then boom, there we go. We now have a boar pen and it's very easy to feed them. All I have to do is throw in the mushrooms. Now, you can see that the boar are still agitated, right? That means they're not going to start eating the food. In order to start eating the food, they have to forget that you're there. So a good way to check is to just go hidden. And once the eye totally shuts, the enemy's forgotten about you, then they'll go into a peaceful state. And they'll stop attacking things. And there you go. You see that yellow heart? That means they became peaceful, they forgot you're there, and they started eating the food. Eventually, once you've been around your base long enough, you'll get a message saying that the boar has been tamed. It looks just like this, and a whole bunch of hearts will come out of the boars, and from that point, they won't try and kill you anymore. See? You can also go up to them and name them things. I like naming them after anime characters like Goku and Vegeta. Once the boar has been tamed, they'll start to make new boar, which is probably the whole reason that you were taming them. See? They just popped out those hearts. In order for these boar to reproduce, you need to make sure that they have food. I used mushrooms, but you can use mushrooms, or carrots, or blueberries, or raspberries, and then eventually, you'll get a little baby. See? And they'll keep repopulating as long as there's food to eat, and there's space to grow in. So if they stop growing, then instead of a 3x3 three three grid, make it a 5x5 five five grid, or a 7x7 seven seven grid, and you'll get plenty more. Before you know it, you'll be covered in boar, and you'll run out of anime characters. Check out my tutorial about how to set up your own dedicated Valheim server. This way, other people, friends hopefully, can join your world and build things while you're sleeping and doing other stuff. It's a whole different way to play Valheim, and it makes the world just feel more alive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!